Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Four Center TV video production program. I'm Lucas Osenbaugh. And I'm Dylan Cassini Birch. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. The St. Mary's Board of Education room was more crowded than usual for a second Wednesday of the month, and it wasn't because of quarterly art recognitions. The seats were filled with people who wanted to comment on the school board's proposed $234 million fiscal 2021 budget. Board members heard both praise and criticism from school employees during the February 12th budget hearing. There will be no ripping of anything tonight, the EASMC president said. This is a great budget that puts people first. Two speakers focused on domestic violence at a community conversation Wednesday night, offering their experiences and advice for those who endure abuse. Safe Never Sorry, a community conversation focusing on domestic violence and abuse was hosted on Wednesday night at the Dr. James A. Force Career and Technology Center in Leonardtown by the Southern Maryland Center for Family Advocacy's Healthy Re Relationship Initiative. The SMCFA is the Comprehensive Domestic Violence and Sexual Assault Program in St. Mary's, according to Taylor Spencer Davis, the Deputy Director of the Center. The school board has decided the 2020 to 2021 school year start date will be August 31st. Draft calendar had marked the start date as August 26th at a school board meeting last month. But after debate among school board members, public comments at a January 29th meeting, and a proposed bill from Governor Larry Hogan, the calendar committee pushed the date of the last day to, of August for the upcoming school year. Other school dates have also been confirmed, such as winter and spring break days. A group of local high schoolers are running a dance show to raise funds for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Neelam Shah, a sophomore at the Calverton School in Huntingtown, and Nagina Ori, a junior at Leonardtown High, and a student member of the St. Mary's County Board of Education are co-candidates for this year's Students of the Year campaign, a fundraising competition from the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, which challenges high schoolers to raise funds for blood and lymphatic cancer treatment and research. The pair is hosting Rhythm 2020, a dance show at Choptecon High School featuring 12 acts of multicultural dances with about 175 student performers next Saturday, February 22nd. Leonardtown High School may be getting new auditorium chairs soon. School members were relieved to see an item about Leonardtown High School's auditorium seats on their meeting agenda Wednesday. Kim Howell, the school system's director of capital planning, says her department is working to replace LHS's out-of-date seating to the tune of around $245,000. Leonardtown's chairs have not been replaced since the school opened in 1978, but both the chairs and the floor will be under renovation sometime in the future. Now turning to sports. This Monday and Tuesday, several SMAC indoor track athletes contend for state title at Prince George's Sports and Learning Complex in Landover. The Northern High School girls will come to the complex aiming to bring home the state champion's title as they did last year. But Huntington boys also aim for the title as well. Chopscon twins Zachary Wedding and, De and Jeffrey Wedding finished 1-2 in the 1600 at the 3A East meet and look to duplicate that performance in Tuesday's 3A state championship. We wish the Wedding Twins good luck from St. Mary's Now Sports Department. Rikens boys basketball team shows improvement even in a recent defeat in overtime. Tuesday evening at Bishop McNamara High School, St. Mary's Rikens scored the first 10 points of the game and later scored the last 10 points of the third quarter. But the Knights were unable to hold on to a slim lead the latter stages of the fourth quarter and eventually suffered a 75-69 setback in overtime. St. Mary's Reckon head coach Walter Booth said, Getting off to a 10-0 start was really good. Our guys fought hard the whole game. This is a young team playing in a tough league. That's what you want from these guys. This news brief was provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit SOMDnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Lucas Osenball. And I'm Dylan Sunny Birch. Signing off.